always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. It's feeling and looking like summer across West Michigan. Blue skies were the theme today and really no signs of that stopping, at least for the next day or so to come. Take a look at the Ford International Airport. Again, nothing but sunshine out there this evening. Lots of people out and about taking advantage of just that. Storm track live is dry, something that wasn't always a guarantee. We talked about the potential for a few isolated showers being fired up thanks to all the moisture in our vicinity, but really at most we just have a few cumulus clouds primarily near and south of about I-94. Temperatures out there quite warm, about 10 to 15 degrees above average for today. 82 degrees in Allegan, 81 in Grand Rapids. Uh, really no difference between inland and the lakeshore. Just a gorgeous summer-like day all around. Tonight will really be no different. We'll stay clear out there. We'll also stay dry. The potential for fog tomorrow morning minimal, but lesser than what we dealt with earlier on this today. Uh, temperatures will dip down to near about 60. Again, not the coolest night ahead of us may be a good opportunity to test out that air conditioner if you haven't gotten a chance already. As far as your future cast, we could have, again, a little bit of fog in the vicinity tomorrow morning as well as some patchy cloud cover, but it'll be a quick return to sunshine. Those winds will briefly shift a bit, but still be very calm at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then into Sunday evening is when things start to get a little bit interesting. We'll see that cloud cover make a return ahead of showers and thunderstorms making a return both Monday and Tuesday. It is going to be an active 48 hours. No severe threat in place for West Michigan on Monday, but Tuesday we already have a day four outlook. So we're watching that closely as it continues to develop. What we do know so far is we're right on the cusp of it. You'll notice that bullseye or really where the main threat is remains off to our west in Iowa, Missouri, as well as in Illinois. What you're seeing here is a 15% risk on our scale. So the lower of the two, I think of it almost as a slight risk. We will likely fall into one of those categories come tomorrow morning. It ranges from one to five or marginal to high. Uh, but again, we are timing this out that it could be a late evening and overnight system. And if that were to take shape, our chances of severe weather likely going to be a little bit smaller than initially thought. Take a look at this model run again. Scattered showers and storms Monday could have a strong storm in the mix, but it's not going to be a whole lot. What we're mainly concerned about is storms firing up along this warm front. And then again, when we have a batch of rain coming in with that cold front, again, we're going to keep a close eye on it. A little bit too soon to talk threats. What we do know is behind this system a lot cooler, 74 on Wednesday, upper 60s to near 70 as we move towards Memorial Day weekend.